that southbound uh, Peterbilt that just came out of the 75 Chrome shop there. Yeah, come on back. I stopped in the Chrome shop for a split second and uh, to use the restroom and I saw your truck sitting there on the back row. I, th I thought to myself, you know, I got plenty of time. You know, I'll be right back out there in less than five minutes. I'll snap a couple of shots. And when I came back out about three minutes later, the truck had disappeared. A little panic set in, thinking like, oh man, that was just a great looking truck. And uh, lo and behold, you're over at the gate, so I, I appreciate you slowing down for a minute to let me put one of these cameras in your in your cab and uh, and let me tag along with you for a little bit. Yeah, not a problem. No, it's cool to, uh, cool to meet up with you. Like I said, I'm sorry the truck's not real clean. Ran through a bunch of rain here this morning, but uh, uh, quick wipe the wheels down. Hopefully it looks, turns out all right. Yeah, I have to tease you about that because uh, you, you mentioned that and I, I looked down at your truck and everything was all nice and shiny and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, all buttered up, tires were and everything. I tell you what, it, uh, you can go and uh, park that at one of those uh, wash and park shows or even better. And uh, it's looking real good. So uh, why don't you tell me about the truck, you know, the, the year and, and the running gear and all that sort of stuff. Uh, well, it's a, uh, it's a 1984 uh, 359 Peterbilt, uh, B-model cat under the hood, uh, B-model 400. Uh, it's got 355 rear ends, uh, 15 speed, uh, high gear front up against the dash. Just a short hood, or I guess standard hood would be the correct terminology there, but uh, truck uh, sat most of its life actually. It's, uh, Got it off of a guy up in our neck of woods up in Pennsylvania. And uh, he bought the truck new, ran it for about 10 years or so. And then uh, whatever he was doing, the work, the line of work he was doing uh, kind of went away. So he parked the truck with intentions of getting back in it. And uh, never happened. So anyhow, we bought it off of him. And uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, didn't do just a whole lot to it. Uh, polished it up, cleaned it up. and. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Well, it looks great. How many miles do you have on it? Uh, right now we got 639,000 miles. 639 yeah, original miles there. Kind of low for the age that it is, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's sat it's in the barn most of its life. I think that falls in the category of barn finds. You know, uh, the truck is in great shape, the interior. Uh, it looks immaculate, you know, you know, whatever you've done to, to bring it back to life, or if it just looked that way, you know, that looks great. Just a great truck overall. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Like I said, hey, it is, it just, uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's an old Peterbilt. Well, don't be upset if people see this video and they're going to want to get their hands on your old Peterbilt there, right? Oh, bad. I don't know about that, but, uh, uh yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, how long have you been trucking for? Uh, probably about 10 years now, something like that. Uh, my grandpa drove truck, my dad drove truck, and, uh, came out of school and, uh, and was working on trucks and driving trucks from then on ever since. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I know. So you'd say uh, family history got you involved in trucks? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, it's kind of been uh, what we've been doing for the last couple of years, and it's been working, and I uh, guess we'll probably just keep on doing it. So trucking-wise, um, where do you normally run? Uh, for me, I'm pretty much up and down the East Coast. I'm based out of uh, Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Yeah, up and down the East Coast, North Carolina, New York. Uh, get down here to Florida occasionally. Right now, I'm pulling a dry van. Some days, you, uh, some days I'm pulling a potato wagon. We haul a lot of potatoes um, up to the chip plants in Pennsylvania. Uh, but uh, anyhow, right, right now I'm pulling a dry van. So it's a little bit of I get a little bit of variety between dry van or potato wagon. So as far as trucking, uh, in the, the length of time that you've been trucking, what's what's been the best time, you know, the, the best experience trucking-wise? Maybe it was a, a, a load that you carried or a location that you went or, 
you know, meeting up with buddies, doing something cool, you know, what, what's been uh, kind of like a high point for you? I don't know, for me, I just, uh, I don't know, I enjoy, I enjoy it, I get to work with my dad and my brothers and a couple of good friends, and uh, to me, that's what I enjoy, I enjoy you know, getting to meet up with buddies here and there, and uh, I don't know, it keeps it, uh, keeps it fun, I guess, uh, just have a bunch of, like I said, I got brothers and friends that are into trucks and into old trucks and fun. it's always fun when we get to run together or meet up for meet up for dinner or breakfast or something like that as far as my you had said something about favorite area to run i don't know i do i'm i'm married got two little boys at home so i like to stay as fairly local get home and see them occasionally whenever i can uh, but as far as favorite area to run i love to come down here to florida camping the, the sunshine the nice weather dry roads um, I love it down here, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know, up and down the East Coast, I don't know. A lot of people say, oh, they hate, they hate the East Coast, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, all that good stuff, but I don't know, I don't mind it. I guess I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy the rat race. What are some of the lessons that you've learned out here along the way that you might be able to pass along to someone else? Um, I don't know, one thing, kindness goes a long way. Um, uh, you know, I've, over the years, had breakdowns and things like that where, man, a buddy comes and stops and helps you out, and, man, I really always appreciate that. Um, I don't know, taking time for people, helping others out when they're in trouble, um, goes a long way, because sooner or later that's going to be, if it hasn't happened to you yet, it soon will. I always, always, always appreciate the people that stop and help me and taught me things along the way, and you know I hope I can do the same uh, in return. That's a great thought, great answer. You know, I've not heard someone say that, and of course we all know what it's like to be kind. We all know what it's like when someone is kind to us. But in terms of uh, out here trucking, it probably can go a hundred, hundred million different ways. You know, to be kind to someone uh, could be people in traffic could be the receiver that, uh, you know, woke up on the wrong side of the bed on a Monday morning. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's great that, uh, you know, to hear that. I never did ask you, you know, on camera, you know, your name and, uh, you know, I think you mentioned that you're from the Pennsylvania way, but why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, my name's Darren Nolte. Um, yeah, Ephraim of PA is where I call home. Kind of eastern side of Pennsylvania there. Now, is that near that infamous uh, 717 area code? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Lancaster County, yeah, that's all, uh, Ephrata, that's all, all the same area there, in Lancaster County there, kind of, yeah, what everyone knows is the 717 area, I guess. Alright, so you're going to have to shed some light on, on, uh, why all the trucks around that area look so good, you know, there, it's like every single one that comes from an area. What, what's uh, is there some kind of secret sauce that we don't know about? Uh, I don't know about that. It's just uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, seems a lot of guys in our area just kind of take pride in what they do, I guess. Um, enjoy what they do and uh, have a have a love for shiny trucks, clean trucks. Um, yeah, so there's there is yeah, in some reason in our area that's uh, a lot of big rides come out of. Uh, Lancaster area there, um, yeah, that's all kind of the same area that I'm from. All right, Roger, that. It's not a bad reputation to have there, right? Yeah, that's right. Could be worse things to be known for, that's for sure. So when we think of family, uh, you mentioned your dad, grandpa, 
who do you got back in the house? Uh, you know, if there's any, you know, shout outs or, you know, any appreciations that you want to give for those that uh, may keep some things running for you uh, out here when you're on the road, you know, might as well mention them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, big shout out to my wife, Sonia, um, supporting me in what I do. And uh, my little two, my two little boys, Everett and Leo, I always like when they get to go along and go trucking with me a little bit here and there. It's always a good time. Um, but definitely, uh, really appreciate them supporting me and uh, having my back, I guess, and supporting the work I do. I'm gone here and there, and uh, I'm glad that they can support me in that and, uh, yeah, make it work. Um, shout out to my dad. Uh, he's really helped me through a lot and get, kind of introduced me to the trucking world. And, uh, and my brothers, uh, Devin and Kendall, are uh, big asset to me and uh, so I uh, really appreciate them and help me get to uh, get into the world of trucking and all that. That's great. You know, what advice would you give to another guy uh, from your perspective, you know, based off the experience that you have? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really tough for a young guy starting out. That's, that's always tough. Um, you know, you might have to start out at a you know, feed mill or something like that, so you kind of build up some experience and things like that. It's always tough. A lot of insurance companies, they just, they want nothing to do with a young guy that's, you know, 18, 19, 20, even 21 years old type of thing. Uh, so it's always tough for that young guy trying to start out, but, uh, you know, hey, you'll get there. Uh, start out with what you can and uh, put your all into it. Enjoy, enjoy what you got. And, uh, yeah, keep on, keep on striving. That's good advice. Another thing I'd say is enjoy what you do. I, I know some guys are just simply in it for a paycheck, only in it to, for a job type of thing. Um, but, you know, hey, I like to enjoy what I do. Um, so, you know, have fun, um, enjoy the ride type of thing. Don't, uh, don't just focused on uh, making a living and I mean sure yeah it's all bad absolutely that's part of it but um, enjoy what you do um, put your put your all into it for me I enjoy shiny trucks and clean wheels so you know, I spend a, I mean that's all part of it I but I enjoy all that um, but yeah I guess that's my advice to people enjoy your job enjoy what you do now, a lot of guys out there don't or just sure don't, doesn't seem like they enjoy it and uh, anyhow I don't know, that's, that's my, my piece, bit of advice, I guess. You're right by saying that, you know, don't do it for a paycheck, because before you know it, um, that's all that, that the job is about, is getting paid, and you're trying to rush to the, you know, the end of the week just to get that paycheck, to get that little, that, that reward. But when the rewards are there every day, and you're enjoying everything every day, I tell you what, the, the weeks go by, and before you know it, it, it Every, everything's just wonderful you know I hate to use that word wonderful but when, when you enjoy your job it's a wonderful experience yeah absolutely and uh, definitely definitely just changes your outlook on life uh, you kind of enjoy what you do and oh man have fun along the way so out of all the places that you've gone and delivered to all the the states or cities you know, do you got any favorites uh, favorite areas, favorite regions that you absolutely love? I mean, you, you mentioned Florida, but outside of Florida? And I'd have to say anything south. I love running south. Um, you know, I run, like I said, I run a lot of New York and New Jersey and even New England states and some of that. But I guess my favorite area runs south, down uh, down to some nice warm weather. I, I, I'm a fair weather type of guy. I love... Uh, I don't do real well in the winter time. I don't thrive, I guess, in the winter time. Uh, so I enjoy running south, down where anywhere where I can go to get some warm weather, see some sunshine. I hear you. I don't blame you, but you didn't get none of that northern blood in you. I guess not. I somehow missed out on that. I guess I don't know what happened there. So guys uh, that watch these videos, they've uh, mentioned a couple times that they they like they would like to know what CB. You know, guys are running. So, uh, what CB radio are you are you running, and uh, what antennas? Right now, it's, it's not even that. I don't know. It's not that great of a radio. It's an older Connex, is what I have right now. Um, it's nothing real special. It's kind of hit or miss. I 
really should maybe upgrade one of these days, but um, it's a Connex. I don't even know, remember what the numbers are. Um, with uh, Wilson K40 antennas. Oh, I guess it, it does all right. It's nothing uh, real super special or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it gets the job done. Yes, sir. Well, sounding good. You know, what do you love about running an older truck like that? Uh, I guess I don't know. I'm just in love with the, uh, the 359s. Um, I don't know. Just the old mechanical motor. The uh, I don't know. The 359s. I've always been a fan. I don't know. Growing up, that's what my dad used to run. Um, and that's kind of got used to looking out over the old Corvette dash. And anyhow, I guess I kind of have been in love with them ever since. Uh, I don't know, I just, I like the old trucks, I like, I don't know, I just appreciate, uh, good old equipment, um, hey, it isn't, it ain't, it ain't new, it ain't like a lot of these guys, but hey, it, it still gets the job done. Yeah, I would have to agree with you, it gets the job done, and, uh, it looks just as good, if not better, than some of the stuff out there now, you know, you, know, you go to an, an ATHS show, and, you know, that's all you're gonna see. Again, guys, uh, come up to something like that. I know I would. I'd come up to something like that and look at it before I'd look at some of the other stuff, uh, just partial to the to the older equipment. Yeah, I guess that's where I'm at. A lot of my buddies have newer trucks, and oh man, some days I'm envious. But uh, then when they're in the shop for uh, computer issues and sensor issues and uh, problems like that, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll stick to my uh, old mechanical mechanical motor. It might not be the fastest truck out there, the nicest looking truck out there, but hey, it still gets the job done and I'm having fun doing it. Darren, it was awesome running along with you. Uh, I appreciate you. And I uh, hope you have a good trip uh, the rest of the way down to the Sarasota and uh, everywhere else you get to. Yeah, absolutely, nice to meet you. Uh, hopefully we can get uh, Cross path again someday. Yes, sir. Be safe. Right back at you. Take it easy.